In this video, I will be showing you all of the internal parts that make up a trunnion mounted ball valve and show you all of the potential leaking points this valve has. Let's get right into the video. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you everything valves. If you enjoy the content, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get right into the video. So here we have a two inch class 600 raised face trunnion mounted ball valve. I have modified this valve and removed sections of the body and the adapter so we can look at all of the internal components that make up this valve. So looking at this valve from the front, we have our grease injector here. In order to apply grease to the grease fitting, you'll take your grease gun and slide it over the fitting here and pump in grease. When you pump grease in, the grease will come out of that port there at the top and coat all of the ball here. So when the ball rotates open and closed, it will distribute the grease. If we look on the inside of the valve, this right here is going to be our vent valve. So open this vent valve, we're gonna rotate the top here counterclockwise. Rotating it counterclockwise will release any pressure trapped inside of the body cavity from this little port here. To close the vent, we rotate it clockwise. We have our emergency grease zerk fitting here. If you look at one of my previous videos, you will see a demonstration on how to apply grease to a zerk fitting here in the stem area. This is gonna be the body and this is gonna be the adapter. This piece up here where the emergency stem zerk fitting is, is going to be your stem bushing. This will be your stem. And this piece right here will be your stop plate. This nut also acts as the stop. So when you close or open the valve, it will hit against this acting as the stop. We can tell this is a raised face valve by looking at the flange here. You can see it has a raised face connection here. So now that we've covered all of the components on the non-cutaway side of the valve, let's turn it around and go over all of the internals here. So now the valve is fully opened. As we look through here, we can see it's a full port, no obstructions. To close the valve, we need to rotate it clockwise. The valve is currently in the closed position. In order to open the valve, we need to rotate it counterclockwise. So looking at the cutaway portion, this piece here is going to be our adapter. This piece will be our body. This piece right here is going to be our trunnion. Here at the top is our stem bushing. This piece here in the middle is going to be our stem. And then this piece here, of course, is going to be our ball. Let's start with the trunnion here at the bottom. So as we look closer, this is our trunnion. Our trunnion will come inside of the here, up, into the actual ball. This is where the trunnion comes out into the ball. We have our primary O-ring here, and this is gonna be a secondary seal. Here you will have two O-rings. This is what creates the seal between the body and adapter. Any pressure trapped in the body cavity here will not escape because of these two O-rings here. These two O-rings here are the same as these two O-rings here. So now let's go up a little higher and look at our ball and seats. Here we have the ball. 
These are gonna be our seat rings here. Each seat ring will have two O-rings, one, two. And this last piece here is going to act as the spring, which helps energize the seat into the ball when you open and close it. We've covered the trunnion, the ball, both seats and the seat O-rings as well as the springs. Now we're gonna go up and focus on the stem and the stem bushing area. So as we look here, we have the stem bushing, the body and the body adapter. This groove again is where the emergency stem grease zerk fitting is located. If the valve was to ever start leaking up out of the stem area, we would insert grease and it would come in this groove and prevent any leakage up and out. There are two O-rings located on the stem. This is gonna be your primary, this is gonna be your secondary. So these are supposed to stop any fluid from coming in and out. And like I mentioned, if ever you were to have leakage out past the stem in this area, you can always insert grease, which will prevent the leak for you to be able to repair or replace the valve. As we look lower at the stem bushing, you have two O-rings on the outside, one here and one here. You can barely see the other one right here. These two O-rings prevent any leakage up and out from this direction. This is going to be your thrust bearing. This prevents any friction from building up between the stem and the body. Back behind this bushing will be an anti-static device. Unfortunately, we're not able to see it in this model. I wanna show you all of the potential leaking points this valve has and point out the O-rings that prevents any leakage. So you potentially can have a leak here at the trunnion and body joint. These are the O-rings and seals that prevent any leakage out this way. You have a potential leaking point here between the adapter and body. These two O-rings here prevent any leakage coming out from this area here. Here at the top, you have two O-rings on the outside of the stem bushing and body. This prevents any leakage up out from this area here. And then last, you will have two O-rings on the stem here and here which are to prevent any leakage from coming out inside of the stem bushing and out past the stem here at the top. Those are the main external leakage points the valve has. The internal leakage points will be between the seat and ball here and here. And then you can also potentially have leakage past the seats or behind the seats as they say which means leakage will come back past the seals here and here and leak back downstream or upstream. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed the valve content, please make sure you support the channel by liking the video. If you have any ideas for future videos, please make sure you comment down below. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves and we will see you in the next video.